Okay, guys, I just wanted to give a quick overview of what we are doing Wednesday in class in case you're at home for whatever reason, if you're digital. Hopefully this helps give you some insight as to what we are doing in class. So this is our agenda. We're going to do the warm-up, review last night's homework. All of this will be posted in Canvas. And then we're going, we're not going to label the table of contents simply because this assignment is going to be for a grade. Uh, digital students, this will be part of your weekly submissions. Uh, and we're running out of space on our table of contents, so don't worry about labeling that today. Today we're going to work on a snowman math activity, which is a continuation of adding and subtracting radicals that you learned about yesterday. Okay, so that's what we're doing in class. So how this works, you have questions 1 through 10, and you are either adding, subtracting, or a combination of both with radicals. So what you have to do is to simplify each radical sum or difference. After you do that, circle the correct answer, and then based off your answer, color the snowman correctly. So I want to do example one with you, or problem one with you, just so you know what to do. And guys, you're going to need to use a separate sheet of paper to do your work, because there's not enough space here. This is not enough space, okay, as you'll see. Okay, so this is number one. So we're going to break down, we're going to simplify, and then we're going to combine, because none of these will combine right now. First thing you need to do is break down 25, like you always did. And that's going to break down, so what multiplies to give me 45? That's 5 and 9. And then 9 breaks down to be 3 times 3. Now we are working with those prime numbers, the 5, the 3, and the 3. So we have a pair of 3's, that means one of the 3's comes out of the radical. Whenever you have a pair, one comes out. Okay, and then underneath, we just have this single 5. He doesn't have a body, so he stays under the radical. Okay, so to put that together, um, the, we have this negative sign, don't forget about that. Negative, and then the 3 came outside, uh, and then the 5 stays on the inside. Okay, and then the next part, it says plus 2 square root of 8. Okay, so let's reduce square root of 8. Square root of 8 can reduce as 2 times 4. 4 can break down as 2 times 2. So the prime number we are left with are 2, 2, and 2. So it looks like we have a pair of 2's. That means 1, 2 is going to come out of the radical, going to be on the outside, and then we have this other 2 that just stays on the inside. Don't forget about this 2 on the outside. Bring that 2 down that was already there. Okay, and then this 2 came out, so times 2. And then on the inside, you have another 2. So put it all together, 2 times 2 is 4. So this is going to be plus 4 on the square root of 2. <coughs> Uh, the last one, minus square root 20, let's see, uh, that's going to break down. I like to use 2 and 20, since we've been, we used 2 on the last example. And then 10 can break down as 2 times 5. So then now our prime numbers we're working with are 2, 2, and 5. Looks like we have a pair of twos. So that means a two comes out of the radical and then a five stays inside. Okay. Don't forget about that negative sign. Bring it down. Negative. And then on the outside, that two came out. On the inside, you had the five. Now you can combine like terms. And guys, if you had something like this, let's say you had 
negative 3x minus 2x. Well, that's going to give you negative 5x. Okay. Same concept with radicals. Think of them kind of like x's. You can combine what's on the front when you're adding and subtracting. So on the front here, we have a negative 3 and a negative 2. And then on the inside, the square root 5 matches, so we can combine those. The negative 3 square root 5 and the negative 2 square root 5 combines to give you a negative 5 square root 5. Then you just bring down this plus 4 square root 2. And you're done. Now, if you um, were to get this answer, let's say you were to get 4 square root 2 minus 5 square root 5. That is the same thing. It's just in a different order. Okay, exact same thing. So this is okay too. So let's go back to our snowman activity. Looks like this is the answer. So that means when you go to fill in your um, snowman, it gets a top hat. I think I tried to draw one. Yeah. Sorry, my top hat is not pretty, but you get the idea. Okay. So you're just going to do that on questions 1 through 10. You're going to need a separate sheet of paper. Um, and then you just decorate the snowman with whatever your answer is. Okay. If you're not at school, um, Make sure you can print this at home if you have a buddy at school that can grab an extra copy for you. Do that. Meet up at Kroger. I don't know. Um, but try to get this paper in your person, okay? Try to get this paper because this will be for a grade. All right? If you have any other questions, please contact either myself or Ms. Yeager. Thank you.